Welcome to the overview of the new Arizona State Science Standards. In October of 2018, the Arizona State Board of Education adopted the new Arizona State Science Standards that were written by more than 100 educators, content experts, and community members. These groups were brought together to work on standards. Let's quickly discuss the difference between standards, curriculum, and instruction, and the task that was asked of the ADE and Standards Revision Working Groups. When the ADE's Standard Working Groups came together, they were given the task of revising the standard documents for teachers to use in their classrooms. Therefore, they needed to understand the difference between standards, which was our task, from curriculum and instruction. Standards are the end goal at each grade. They are mandated from the state and progress as the student moves through grade levels. When revising the standards, the working groups were focused with the standards and not with curriculum or instruction. The standards are what teachers are teaching, not how they're teaching it. Curricula are the resources adopted by districts and schools to be used in the classroom to teach the standards. They include reading materials, lesson plans, scope and sequences, curriculum maps, or anything else you can think of that teachers use to teach in their classrooms. The curriculum is part of the how teachers teach the standards. Teachers choose how to best use the curriculum resources they have to teach the standards to their specific students. This is the second part of the how we teach the standards, made unique by every teacher using their specific talents. The newly revised standards are different than the standards we have seen in the past, and next we will discuss why local education agencies need professional development to support teachers K-12 as they make the necessary shifts in instruction. The standards were developed on a large and growing body of research on teaching and learning science, in particular a framework for K-12 science education. Much of this research has been synthesized in national reports like Taking Science to School and Ready, Set, Science, like you see in the 2000-2010 documents. Therefore, the Arizona State Science Standards have been written with these reports in mind using the Framework for K-12 Science Education and the document working with big ideas of science education. At the heart of all of this information is that students should learn science by doing science, and the framework has laid out the foundations for three-dimensional science instruction to engage students in phenomena, or questions about the world, and helping students find the answers to these questions. The idea is that throughout a student's K-12 experience with science, they will be given experiences through three-dimensional science education that helps them become scientifically literate members of society. And the standards are organized around these three dimensions. They are the science and engineering practices, the cross-cutting concepts, and the disciplinary core ideas. The first dimension outlined in the framework is the science and engineering practices. These describe behaviors that scientists engage in as they investigate and build models and theories about the natural world. And the key set of engineering practices that engineers use as they design and build models and systems. The framework uses the term practices instead of a term like skills to emphasize that engaging in scientific investigation requires not only skill, but also knowledge that is specific to each practice. There are eight science and engineering practices. One quick example is developing and using models. The models students make and use will help develop explanations about natural phenomena. Models make it possible to go beyond what can be observed and enable the students to make predictions to test hypothetical explanations. Each new standard for the Arizona document is linked to one of the science and engineering practices. The second dimension is the cross-cutting concepts, and they have application across all domains of science. There are seven cross-cutting concepts, and the framework emphasizes that these concepts need to be made explicit for students because they provide an organization for interrelated knowledge from various science fields into a coherent and scientifically based view of the world. Yes, the cross-cutting concepts have been around for a long time, so why is it different? Well, now they appear in the standards document along with the learning progression. So we need to change them from being a tool for teachers 
to a tool for students. And if students are using the cross-cutting concepts in their K-12 schooling, they will be able to internalize those tools and apply them into other concepts and future use. And dimension three from the framework is the disciplinary core ideas. Arizona calls them just core ideas and like described in the framework, they have the power to focus K-12 science curriculum, instruction, and assessments on the most important aspects of science. These are physical sciences, earth space sciences, life sciences, and using science and engineering in the everyday world. The core ideas are used to build a coherent progression of learning for students from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. The important role of science education is to prepare students with sufficient core knowledge that have broad importance across multiple sciences and then organizing that information into a single discipline. Arizona has further separated these ideas into core ideas for knowing science and core ideas for using science adapted from the document working with big ideas of science education. This is an example of how the three dimensions look in a sixth grade standard. At the beginning of every standard, there is one of the eight science and engineering practices. The standard addresses that students should be planning and carrying out investigations. It also addresses the core idea P3, changing the movement of an object requires a net force to be acting on it. And from the standards document, it is suggested to focus on the cross-cutting concepts of cause and effect and systems and system models. The core ideas of knowing science are spiraled throughout a child's K-12 education. Not all 10 core ideas of knowing science are taught at every grade level, but are taught at least once in every grade band. The first goal in the new science standards is that science education will reflect the three dimensions of science learning. Second, that students engage in learning science by doing science, and that is explaining phenomena and designing solutions and using those science and engineering practices to do so. Third, incorporating the engineering design process is a big innovation. Fourth, building coherent learning progressions across K-12 so that students are not learning disconnected facts, but they are seeing concepts develop over time and that there is an elegance in science. And the last goal is that science makes those connections and are cross-disciplinary to ELA and mathematics standards. Those were the five goals. We also have an overview of the changes. The first is broader standards and moving away from POs. The goal of this is to allow teachers the flexibility for greater depth and more connections of science content. The second big change is the big ideas of knowing science and really developing a K-12 progression that allows kids to develop science ideas in a coherence that grows over time. Third is connecting science concepts and practices. And the standards were developed with these connections in mind. Finally, in high school, there are high school essential and plus standards. What do all these changes look like as the new standards roll out to districts and charters? Well, let's first talk assessment. In the next school year, 2019-2020, the current AIMS science assessment will be given just like this year, aligned to the 2004 standards. And in the spring of next year, 2020, it will be administered to grades four, eight, and high school biology. In the year 2021, the field test of the new science assessment aligned to the 2018 science standards will be administered to schools in grades 5, 8, and 11. And that year will also include the current AIMS science assessment aligned to the 2004 standards administered in spring of 2021 in grades 4, 8, and high school biology. To complete the transition, the new science assessment aligned to the 2018 science standards will be administered to fifth grade, covering grades three, four, and five standards, eighth grade, covering grades six, seven, and eight standards, and 11th grade, covering all high school essential standards in the spring of 2022. With that in mind, it is suggested by the ADE that all grades should be at full implementation of the new 2018 science standards in the 1920 school year. If that is not a possibility for your local education agency, please review the suggested transitional implementation plan. It suggests that the implementation of the 2018 science standards should begin in grades kindergarten, first and second, with an emphasis on third, sixth, and ninth grade to allow students to be ready for the spring of 2022 state science assessment. In the school year 2021, then schools should phase in 
fourth, seventh, and tenth grade standards, followed by fifth, eighth, and twelfth grade standards in the year 21-22 to reach full implementation of the new state science standards. Some things you can do to prepare for the upcoming transition include familiarizing yourself with the content focus for the grade level or content area you teach. It is important that you stay informed of district transition events and start to make the needed instructional shifts like three-dimensional science teaching and learning in your classroom. Make sure to participate in professional development that will further your understanding of the new standards. Some online courses are available and other courses are being developed now. And as always, we ask that you offer to become a part of the process as we move forward with the new standards. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can contact Sarah Sleesman, Director of Science and STEM, at the email provided. Thanks so much. Please be on the lookout for professional development that Arizona Department of Education is offering.